Here's a lovely big hermit crab. Beautiful scavenger for your marine aquarium. It is important if you do have a hermit crab like this fella that you do need to offer some alternative shells for him so he um, has somewhere else to live. He's got a couple of anemones on his back at the moment which is pretty common. Wonderful scavenger. Um, be careful with them if you've got tiny fish because they can go at the fish. Very unusual, that can happen. And be a little bit wary if you've got too many corals that you can knock over. And if you've just got it, and be wary if you've got large triggers or something that might have a go at him. But yeah, put some replacement sh shells in there for him. He's just trotting all over this um, poor cucumber at the moment. But if you've got a marine tank and you're looking for a nice scavenger to go around and eat the crap from your fish, I reckon you can't go past this guy. Lovely hermit crab. Something else too for fish tanks is that thing at the back there is called a carry shell. There's one there and one over there. And they're wonderful scavenger. Um, same with your starfish. Um, hinge beak shrimp. There's so many stuff you can choose. Abalone, which is that thing there. It's an abalone. If you do have a marine tank, um, an algae is your enemy. Make sure you've got enough scavenging animals to eat the waste from the fish and eat the algae. The cucumber will help to clean the sand, digest the sand. It'll go right through the cucumber, pop out the other side. Um, we've got a beautiful um, painted cray in the back corner there. Once again, another wonderful scavenger that'll just go through your aquarium eating the crap from your fish. And the reason why you want to focus on things that eat your fish waste is the less waste there is in the aquarium, the less algae you're going to get. So if you have plenty of scavenging animals and you have plenty of snails and abalone and stuff that eat algae, then it just lowers your maintenance. Not the shrimp. 